What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another Small Lands Let's Play episode three here on the Yuba Tubes. Uh, yesterday, we found the NPC that crafts this sweet, sweet armor for us. Uh, last night's stream, we also uh, found a quest to go kill the Rhino Beetle, which I believe is the first boss you fight in the game. Uh, he was a freaking piece of cake, man. Nothing difficult at all, but uh, he unlocked, defeating him unlocked the gecko treat, and in order to tame the gecko, all you gotta do is punch him a couple times and feed him the treat. Uh, one thing I did find is that you have to, um, you can only have one tameable pet at a time, so make sure if you go to tame a gecko after you kill the rhino beetle, uh, that you release your other tame, which would probably end up being a cricket, I would assume. But, uh, yeah, we also found a couple new things here. Let me make sure he stays right here, because I don't want him to come with me. Um, down here, so we are currently in kind of the northwest part of the map here. This whole place here, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm calling it kind of the sewer system. Uh, there's roaches, and there's these big red hornets down here. And these big red hornets and the roaches, um, they drop heavy chitin. So this is heavy chitin right here. You need it to craft um, your next tier weapons uh, and as well as like the spike axe and the, and the other weapons we can get down here. I'm going to take you guys down here and kind of show you what I found last night. Um, we are going to try and take out this hornet here real quick. I've got some poison arrows locked in, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get him with the early crit there. See how much damage we can do to him before he even gets here. And pull out the spear and right click some heavy attacks on him and take him out. And you'll see that he uh you'll see that he's gonna drop some chitin for us. Some heavy chitin. Uh so we've got insect wings, heavy chitin, insect fur, poison glands, um, are the things that we get from him. So it is about to get dark, which I wonder if I should probably sleep first. That's probably what we should do. Um, if you guys are enjoying small lands, you're playing small lands, or just enjoying the content, either way, let me know in the comments, man, uh, what your favorite part about it so far is. My favorite part, absolutely, is this set of armor here. Um, if you don't know, literally, check this out. Um, we can go up to a high location here, uh, and this is the sewer area. You can see a roach down there. Uh, we are just going to glide. And you can glide from the tippy tops of any of the trees, and you can make it really, really far. It's a great way to get around. Um, so the roaches, they also drop heavy chitin. Um, and there's one right there you can see. And more or less how you get metal um, is you use your flint pickaxe to harvest these different little metal nodes here. Um, and that will give you scrap metal, more or less. And you can use that to create the smelter. Um, not a hundred percent sure what we got going on over there. Apparently there's a bug over here somewhere called a stag beetle. Um, I'm looking back in the distance over there. I don't know what that is, but I kind of want to go check it out and see. Is this guy going to attack me here? This is just a regular bull ant. Nothing crazy. Get him out of here. Pick this stuff up. Um, let's see here. There's another one right here. A dawn ant. Okay, I don't understand. Oh, there must have been two ants in the hole there. Let's go see what the heck this big thing is back here that I keep... What is that? Oh, my lord. We can't fit through the holes on this fence, right? Oh, here we go. Here's another one. These bull ants are everywhere over here. Nothing we truly actually need. Um, there is one hell of a winged creature back here. And this is probably a bad idea, but we're going to send it anyway, just to see at least what it is and maybe how much health it has. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a boss. Uh, I would assume it's probably a boss. Where did it go, dude? All right, let's see here. So let's see if we can bring it up on the bug scanner. Uh, Black Hornet, yes. Black Hornet. Oh, snap, dude. Oh, snap. Ouch. Okay, it does have some does have some health to it here. Um, did I break it? I might have broken it. 
Interesting. Um, he is healing through my arrows. Okay, so that's a black corner. It, kind of, it does kind of seem like a boss. It does kind of seem like a boss a little bit. Um, is there anything else back up in here? I don't think so. Let's see here. Let's look around a little bit more. If there's multiple black hornets, then that would tell me that it's not a boss. But I only see one, so probably is. Let's see what else we might have back here in this corner. Tucked away. Oh, there's like some thorns or something? Big thorn bush back here? This is interesting looking. Um, wow. Let's, let's go inside of this, I guess, and see what the heck we got. I can't get hurt by that, right? No? See lots of berries. Lots of berries up in here. I don't really see anything else. Maybe this is still in development or something back here. Wow, dude, this is a this is a crazy, crazy thing. I might take a screenshot of that, huh? Yeah, there's nothing back here. Just a bunch of just a bunch of weeds, pretty much. All right, looks like we're gonna make our way out here. Let's go see what other kind of bugs we might find over here. I know I know something about a stag beetle. Uh, we got another hornet there coming up on us. Looks like we might have to take him out. Uh, let's do that real quick. Get him out of here before he has a chance to really get... Oh, we got Flint Spear badly damaged. <clears throat> okay, we're going to make sure we need to repair that. Where are you going, sir? A little jump attack to finish him off. Cool, we got some more heavy chitin. We do need lots of that, so that's fine. Let's see here. What do we have back here? Nothing, just a glass bottle, maybe a bottle cap. I did find out uh, that you do need bottle caps. Um, I thought I thought the first bottle caps you got were the only ones that you ended up needing. But there is a use for them, so I'm going to pick them up again. I had a feeling there was going to be more of a use for them. This is just flint, right? Yeah, that's just flint. Okay, that's cool. Not sure what we might have back over here. Oh, some sort of flies. Um, let's see here. Oh, these are actually flies. What the heck? Okay. If I'm just going to get free shots on them, I might as well take them, right? Might as well take these free shots. Got them a little... Got them a little bugged out here. A little bit bugged out. Uh, so what do we have down here? Let's check this out, dude. Wow, there's a whole lot. He's been busy over here, huh? He been busy over here. All right. I mean, I'll just take it all just because. Free loot, man. Free loot, man. Uh, looks like we just got a bunch of those flies. They're kind of all over the place. Man, this is so freaking cool. This game is so awesome, man. What is this blue wings? Oh, oh, is that a second uh, big black hornet thing? That might be a second one from the first one. I don't know. Um, yeah, because the first one was kind of way over that direction, so that might be uh, that might be a second guy. Maybe that isn't a uh, that isn't a boss like I thought it was. Maybe. Let's go down here. You can go. There is a whole entire sewer system up underneath this place that you can go to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I'm gonna see if this new pickaxe can actually get this uh, scrap metal here. All right, it looks like it can. Cool. Because literally the description of this pickaxe says that it can get clay. Um, our inventory's full. Can I drop down maybe a... Nope, I can't. I don't have the stuff for a campfire. What's up, buddy? That's right. Lay down, sir. 
All right, let's hope the roach stays away from here. Let's go ahead and just eat these two pieces of meat, and that'll allow us to pick the metal up. All right, there we go. And we'll grab a couple more pieces of scrap metal here. <clears throat> there we go. Might as well take some with us since we're over here exploring. I do have five bandages left, so I need to keep an eye on that and make sure I don't end up running out. Bandages and health potions, either way, which whichever one you prefer, whichever one's cheaper, I would say. Um, honey crumble seems to be pretty easy to come across. Oh my god, dude. That goes all down in there. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I love the fact that we can just glide across this. So cool. So stinking cool. Um, let's see, is there anything new looking? Potentially looking for some new materials or some actual clay. I've only seen clay in one spot so far, so I'm not sure if it's like elsewhere, other places. Um, there's some rocks. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these rocks too, because I really do need rocks. Okay. Grab these puppies up. And continue to look around, see what the heck else we can find. Alright, what else we got over here? Um, is that a new beetle or is that just a regular, that just, well, I don't know. I don't know, it looks like the regular beetles that we see everywhere else. Uh, where are we at on the map now? Okay, we're actually headed to Lissandra, uh, which I have to go speak with here. Anyway, so I wonder if I just jump off of this and head down there. Um, I do see a Black Widow right there. We did find out that the Black Widows really aren't as scary and dangerous as they as they are in Grounded. Uh, they still will mess you up, but they're not as scary as the Grounded Black Widows are. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, so you're this way, so you've got to be down here, right? In this, in this crazy wild... Oh, we got a new... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they going to leave me alone? Alright, let's see what this owl effigy says. Huge humanoid creatures used to roam the overland long ago. They were known among the small folk as giants. Nobody knows the reason why they disappeared, but since their time has ended, the small folk have cautiously started to become, or to come out of the burrows and explore the overland. All right, that's actually kind of tells us how we got here and why we're here. All right, Lissandra, what you got? Spider armor? Uh, what brings you this far into the swamps? I am a vanguard. I'm exploring the overland to uncover any dangers that may threaten our people. What can I do for the vanguard? I was sent here by Scotty. She suggested you might be able to answer how the rhino beetle found its way to the beach. The rhino beetle on the beach, you say. Tell me more. Tell me about the rhino beetle. Very interesting. I have preoccupied with a similar, similar issue that is possibly related. The other night I saw someone lurking around in the swamps. Thought I couldn't make out, though I couldn't make out. Uh, who it was shortly after a giant albino spider emerged from beyond the western walls of the swamp to make its nest in a cave southwest of here. The creature has become more erratic and hostile lately due to its giant great strength. I fear it may, it might upset the natural order of the swamps. If you could eliminate the spider and bring me one of its eyes for examination, I could study it. I may be able to uncover the reason for the spider's sudden change in behavior. It's a dangerous task, but I uh, believe in your skill and bravery, Vanguard. I was just it out. Okay, so that gives us... That gives us the location of the next boss, which is kind of cool. Uh, what do you have armor-wise? Can you craft armor? Uh, let's see what kind of armor you make. Silk weave. Okay, what does this do? Silk weave suit inspired by spiders to grant the wearer exceptional speed and agility. Does this have wings? I can't tell if that has wings or not. Okay, so we're just looking for silk thread, herpetile hide, and textile patches. Uh, and a little insect fur, so that's not too crazy. Alright, cool. Alright, now we know. 
Um, hold on one second. Let me ask her. Wait, what? Ask her the last thing here. Is that a baby spider in your arms? It, it, it is indeed. Her name is Singwin. She might look cute and small, but one bite from her could paralyze a grown small folk. Is there an antidote? Apothecary antidote. Nice. Poison antidote. I know of many, yes, some are effective as pond water. Others can save a small folk from certain death. This one is very powerful. All right. Very well, then. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight my way out of here now. Oh, there's lots of... There's lots of... Lots of webs and things. These jumping spiders are so silly looking, dude. I love it, though. Ouch! Until they start jumping. Come here. Stop jumping away from me. Oh, my lord, dude. This thing is killing me. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I got both of them after me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Come here. Stop running from me. Stop running from me! Oh my goodness! Thank you! Jesus Christ, bro! Woo! Alright, well, that was exciting. Like, sit down, dude! Jeez! Alright, so I do still have some shears here. I'm gonna drop something so that I can get some more silk. Might as well, while we're here, get some more of this silk cocoon! And then we'll send it back to the crib. Back to the crib. I would like to... How far are we into the video right now? 17 minutes? If you're still watching this video right now, I want you to let me know uh, by typing silk in the chat. You can hide it in a sentence if you want or just put it down there. But the word of the video is silk. Drop it in there, man. Look at all this silk we're getting right now. Look at all this silk and insect eggs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very cool. I'm loving this armor, by the way. This armor is amazing. Gobble, 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 gobble. Oh yeah, if you're still watching this too, um, I might as well go ahead and shout it out. Um, April 15th is my birthday. And we are also, on my birthday, going to be having a huge charity stream with tons of giveaways, tons of prizes uh, for donors and for not donors. It's going to be a huge, ton, big, lots of fun thing. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have hundreds of people there, so I would love to have you there. If you want to be involved, um, just check the link in the description for my Twitch. And come drop me a follow over there and come hang out with us. And that is all I will say about it. And if you want to keep up on more information about it and what we're doing about it and everything else, you can join the Discord as well in the description if and you want to. Uh, let's see here. 29. Okay, so now I just kind of have to make it out of here, uh, which seems potentially impossible. Let's just keep going. Hmm. I do have one bandage remaining. I don't really see any... Oh, great, dude. Any great way of getting out of here. Let me see if I can summon the old uh, gecko man. Maybe he can help us fight this Black Widow if we need to. Um, but... Oh, yeah, we need to. Hopefully he doesn't die. And I'm pretty sure he just died. Yep, he just died. Alright, well that sucks. And I can't carry any of this. Alright, oh well. 
Oh, well, we'll get another one. To be completely fair, I almost like the grasshopper more than I like the gecko. The gecko is supposed to be like your fighting companion, but at the same time, it's almost like way too hard to go to combat with the gecko without him dying. <clears throat> he dies very easily, as you can see. Uh, and it wasn't from... He w he didn't die because of the spider. He died because I I hit him for like 50. So it's really really difficult to fight with him when you're the one hitting him so much. So that that kind of sucks. Oh well. All right, let's head back up out of here. Another Black Widow there. I'm just going to try and... Try and skedaddle. Ow, oh, did he just hit me? He must have hit me. Owie. Alright, I can't exactly... I would like my stamina back, please. Oh, there we go. Land right on a wolf spider. That's cool. Getting out of this place is quite the task. Quite the task. Last bandage. Okay. Oh, hello. Aha! I can fly. And I believe it. I believe I can fly. Alright, I was about to say, hopefully I can finagle my way up this. Let's see here. Very difficult place to get to and navigate. Holy... Maybe go up here. Maybe I can jump over there. Oop. Barely. Alright, I think I found a way out. I think I found a way out. Maybe. Wound up in the swamp again. Alright. Hopefully... Oh man. Crap. Let me out of here. I never did find the stag beetles, so they must be in a different, totally different part of the world here. Supposedly they're in the jungle, but I don't really know where that's at. Okay. I'd rather not, but, you know, he wants it. Okay, so we give it to him. And all I have is the sword right now. So he's just going to have to accept that. And I can't... i really rather have my spear for the ranged attack. There we go. Get the heck out of here. Oh no, my van brace is broke. Ooh, man, all of my armor is hurting bad. I need I definitely need to go back to a tree. I could just escape right now and return to main menu and come back and it'll put me in but it won't put me in my tree. That's the thing is it'll put me at my at my other little sleeping location. Okay, I need a good, uh, I need a good jump here. Here, let me maybe go up this. I think I'm heading in the right direction. I honestly don't even know at this point. What the heck is all this over here? Is that all swamp? Where am I? Oh, okay, yeah. 
We're kind of headed the right way. We're headed the right way. We just keep on keeping on. Oh, yay. Bees everywhere. Nice. It's coming on through like nothing is happening. You will never get this. You will never get this. All right, we're good. We're good. We're almost back. I can't crawl under there, can I? No. All right, which is good because it's almost dark again. All right, cool. We are back-ish. I would love all these rocks, but I'm not stopping for them. And eh, maybe just one or two. As long as he leaves me alone. Bump a bump a bum. All right, here's our little sleepy spot, and then our tree is like over there. Sleepy spot. I'm actually glad that the fires can't like burn you. Okay, sleepy spot, and then our tree is over here. Let's go to our tree so we can uh, pretty much re reset here. We need a good little solid reset. You feel me? All right, here we go. Wee! Still working on trying to. Well, I guess I do have the next boss now, as far as the storyline goes. So that's good. What does our wood supply look like down here? Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot. There's some rye over there for fiber. Uh, there's a lot of poppies down there. There's some stuff down here. Not too bad. All right, we're a little screwed on a pet right now, which is totally fine. I would like to call the hot air balloon, please. I love how it says those stag beetles are in the jungle. And it's like, bruh, like what separates this whole entire map from a jungle? Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to. Um, we also have a new axe we can craft, a chitin axe. So let me check that out. Let me check that out if we got enough time. Ah, it's pretty much already been a half hour. We'll check that out on stream later. But uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you made it this far in the video... Um, I want your next word to be, what was the first word? Silk. Second word, beetle sausage. <laughs> beetle sausage. I can't craft any of these because, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, well, we will uh, see you on the next one. Have a good day, everybody. Blah, 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 blah.